How's it going, YouTubers? Greatly appreciate you joining me today. We have almost hit 100 subscribers. You could be the lucky one to hit 100. Go for it. Today, I'm going to drive around and see if I can find some, I don't know, something to get into. I think I'm going to swing by Matt's. He is currently working on taking a wrap apart. Um, one of my good buddies, uh, Michael Lucchesi, is actually going to be doing a whole new wrap. He's going to change the game. Just keep a lookout for it. And right now he's getting it tore apart. So I know you've seen it before in the past with some other uh, footage. But today you're actually going to get to see what it looked like before it got wrapped. Which, I mean, it, it was a bright red. So you get to see how it does actually protect and how much labor is involved in taking that stuff apart. So probably don't have much fingertips after we get done. And maybe go grab something to eat and, I don't know, probably get into trouble somehow. So here's that intro. up here at my friend Matt's at Precision Wraps. Say hi Matt. What's going on? And we are over here today so you can check out what it looks like doing the reverse process of taking the wrap off. So y'all know Michael Lucchesi. It's the worst part of taking anything. It's the worst process. Let's put it that way. Everybody wants to be a wrapper. Nobody wants to unwrap. Nobody wants to unwrap at all. But if you actually look at his original paint, I mean, I know he had some overspray before, but I mean, um, the paint was that, that is, I mean, that is smooth. What paint was good before is actually just as good if, I mean, it's in perfect protected condition. But you're gonna see a huge change in this car coming up. Oh yeah. Probably gonna paint be, that's not good has to be sanded prior for us arriving at so. Yeah. This is what happens when you go get that little Mako paint job. It ends up biting you in the end. You still yeah. end up paying. Yeah, you still end up paying. But you can see the back where the original paint was versus, you know, what's over. But if Matt doesn't kill himself, he's going to have an awesome. He's going to have an awesome, uh, an, an awesome car come out. He's going to have an awesome wrap. Boss man, you ready to go get lunch? I'm hungry. Man, this yeah. is a lot of work. Let's go do some stupid stuff first. Let's go do stupid stuff. This is Raymond. This is Drift Room. We're taking the Drift Truck. Take the Hootigan Truck. Take the Dash Rider. So see, truck. anybody can drift a small little Mazda Miata. Oh yeah. We drift in poundage. But this man right here can drift just about anything. He's got wheels. He's getting <laughs> Including <laughs> this big old truck. <laughs> It's Big Bertha. Oh, big you Bertha. The good side. You got to get the ugly side. Well, I wanted to get your sticker. Ah, uh, Hoonigan. This is the good side. Oh yeah. These are from past failed attempts. No. Just, just, <laughs> if the car's still running, we're good. This is what you call a four hundred dollar truck. Four hundred dollar truck. We've got uh, low fuel light on, <laughs> so fuel didn't come with the four hundred dollars. Uh, and we've got 386,000 miles on this thing. You cannot beat these up. You can't beat them up. <laughs> Let's go get lunch. All right, folks, we're going to go get lunch. And if we do something stupid, I'll uh, make sure to include you on it. All right, folks, so we are actually sitting over here in Matt's truck. We're about to do some stupid stuff. We're, it looks like we're about to get stupid. It's the so, truck. It's the Hoonigan truck. Redneck edition. Yeah. <laughs> if it's got wheels, we drift it. Yeah, if it's got wheels, he can drift it. So I might drift it into a ditch. It's still <laughs> hold on, hold on. If you're going to talk like that, hold on. I, 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 I usually don't put my seatbelt on. <laughs> uh, don't be scared. I guess I'll oh. put mine on too then. I'm not scared. Safety first, kids. I'm not scared. It's just trying to be uh, good for the, uh, the viewer. So, hold on. Let's see here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, oh my 
my gosh. I wish you could have seen that, folks. I'm, I'm hoping that the GoPro footage in the back actually shows it, but... <laughs> I haven't been slung that hard in some 240s. <laughs> yeah, we got a tasty little link there. Yeah, no, that was, uh, that was a good one. That one, we slung, we slung pretty good right there. It looks like the GoPro is still surviving on the back, so... We'll hit it one more time, and we we'll probably need to do a pull up. Yeah. Ah, uh, Fozzie track. Hey, what's Fozzie. Open out? Oh. Well, let's see what we can do round two. Let's see here. Hopefully we don't get pulled over. We definitely have incriminating evidence against all of us. I don't know what you're talking about. It wasn't, it wasn't us. That's true. It wasn't us. It was the one-armed man. I saw nothing. <laughs> oh, I can't even lie. The smiles are real. <laughs> oh, yeah. So now we're going to link it, but we're going to hold it, and then we're going to dip out. All right. We're going to link, hold, and dip out. Yep. Those are just for <laughs> looping around. Now we're going to actually link it real good, hopefully. <laughs> too much weight. Too much weight. Too much weight. Sorry, I'll suck it in. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. <laughs> and we are in like a 4,000 pound truck. <laughs> oh, you had just drifted by low. What are you going to do now? <laughs> We're going to get some food. <laughs> We dip it out is what we're doing. Dang, right. <laughs> dip the hell out of here. We ain't going far. <laughs> we're going far. We're going right really across the street. But hey, park beside the white truck because if you park beside them, then it's like, know. if they're, yeah, there's a bellow out for a white truck. <laughs> they're literally all over the place. They're, I mean, well, we're going to park by the van. Yeah. I think he's giving out free Wi Fi, kids. <laughs> Thanks again for tuning in. Um, sorry after lunch, I'm not going to lie, once I got to Matt's, I basically passed out. Not really. He put me to work. He beat me. I mean, I still cannot feel my fingertips. I have to give him credit. That is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. But in the end, it's going to be worth it. It's for a good friend, um, Lacassi. It really is going to look great when it gets done. I got to see some renderings, so keep on the lookout for that. Um, quick update, I can't wait for Dana's car. We'll start working on it, and that's going to be awesome. As well as, we're going to have some more fun with the Project Daily cars. I got a lot of good feedback about that. And uh, overall, just thanks again. Just give us some heads up. Let me know what you want to see. If you don't mind, subscribe. Um, I really am looking forward to doing something uh, more exciting. And I just appreciate the support. We're almost at 100 subscribers, folks. I've only been doing it a couple weeks, so... Thank you. Um, like, comment, share. Let me know what you want to see. Uh, I'll make sure I make it happen. Thanks and have a good night.